Hi, my name is John Shipp and I'm a security engineer for the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. In this episode of The More You Bro, I'm going to show you more log mining tips and tricks, this time with a focus on log mining efficiency. Bro logs a lot of data. Using the right tools in the right order can greatly improve the quality and speed of your results. BroCut is a shell script that uses awk to process log files one line at a time. By minimizing the amount of data that you send to BroCut, you'll notice a decrease in processing time. In this first segment, I'll demonstrate how we can filter data with awk and then pass it on to BroCut to do the rest of the work. Bro logs include a header block, which BroCut uses to identify each log's fields by name. If I want to use BroCut to query a specific field by name, I must include the header block so that it can properly process the request. Let's query the third field position without the header block. Notice BroCut is printing empty lines. Let's see what we are missing by printing the header block which are lines that begin with a comment character. And now, let's include the header block in our full query. Since we told auth to keep the header block, BroCut will properly process the input. Converting the timestamp to human readable format with BroCut can take a long time when working with large logs. We'll be demonstrating the difference in processing time between BroCut and a tool called CF. CF is a timestamp formatting tool available from the Lawrence Berkeley National Labs FTP server. Let's download and install that now. Now that CF is installed, let's first demonstrate the timestamp conversion with BroCut. We'll be working with a log file that is nearly 250 megabytes. As you can see, this conversion took about one and a half minutes. Now let's use CF on the same log file. And this time it took almost four seconds. A big takeaway from this video is to get you thinking about how to minimize your data flow to bro cut by filtering first and processing last, like with our timestamp conversion examples. For the final part of this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to reduce query processing time by distributing the work of multiple CPU cores using GNU Parallel. If you do not have GNU Parallel, you can install it using your system's package manager. First, let's query a group of compressed con log files for an IP address using grep for comparison. As you can see, it took about a minute and 46 seconds. Now let's pipe the file names in our con logs to parallel so that each will be decompressed and queried via grep on a different CPU. You can specify the number of cores by using the dash J option. Otherwise, GNU Parallel will use as many as cores as are available. Note that GNU Parallel controls output to match the order of input.
This time it took less than a minute. Here we are trying to match a single IP address in either the originator or responder fields using awk. Now let's do the same thing with parallel. Note when using nested single and double quotes. Be sure to escape your commands properly so they are correctly interpreted by the shell. And again, the processing time has been reduced. It is around two minutes. Thanks for watching our presentation on efficient log mining. To learn more about using Bro, you can check out the website at bro.org, follow them on Twitter, at bro underscore IDS, or check out more talks and presentations on their YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash bro platform.